Over the next few minutes, we're going to discuss how to approach ethical scenarios in medical school interviews. Ethical scenarios are a vitally important part of MMI and traditional interviews. And in many cases, a well-structured answer is the difference between an offer and rejection. As a general rule, there are two main types of ethical scenarios, each with their own specialist technique. The first type are classical ethical dilemmas, and the second type involve managing errors. Ethical dilemmas are classical ethical scenarios where a situation is presented often with the perception that there is a correct action or stance that one should take. An example of this includes the famous trolley problem, where you can either opt to redirect the train to save the family of five, or you can decide to take no action. With such dilemmas, there are two key factors to consider. Firstly, there is no right answer. Avoid falling into the trap of believing that there is a correct answer. These questions are designed to test your ability to think and discuss under pressure, as well as understanding the validity of opposing views. Secondly, the only right answer or approach is the answer that acknowledges there are multiple viewpoints to consider. Whilst almost all candidates appreciate the need to offer both sides to an argument, studies have found that only 20% of students effectively do so in a medicine interview setting. This is most commonly due to students being interrupted by examiners before they're able to offer all of their desired points. And in some cases, due to students not recognizing that an ethical dilemma is being asked. In order to ensure that you're in the 20% of students who address both sides, always commence your answer by acknowledging both sides to the discussion. This can be done with a simple phrase such as, there are two sides to consider, or words to that effect. Moving on to the second type of ethical scenario, these involve managing errors. The errors may range from a prescribing error to concerns about a colleague's performance. In most cases, detecting that an error has been made is often straightforward. However, the best candidates will consider additional factors and use the Blackstone Tutor's three-step approach to managing errors. Firstly, it's important to manage the immediate risk or harm so in the case of an incorrect medication being prescribed on a ward, it is essential to try and prevent this medication from being given to the patient, or if this has already been given to the patient, it would be important to arrange for an appropriate doctor to assess the patient and ensure that they are not clinically deteriorating. The second step involves preventing further short-term consequences. For example, in this case, it would be important to review other medication charts to ensure that the offending doctor has not made any further medication errors with other patients on the same ward. The third step in managing errors focuses on prevention of long-term recurrences. In the case of an incorrect prescription, this may be achieved by investigating why the doctor made the medication error in the first place and providing appropriate teaching or support to the doctor to ensure that this does not happen again in the future. To summarize, the two types of ethical scenarios are ethical dilemmas and managing errors. With all ethical dilemmas, avoid thinking that there is a single correct answer and ensure that you always commence any answer by acknowledging both sides. When managing errors, keep in mind the three essential steps. Firstly, manage the immediate risk. Secondly, consider the additional short-term risks or consequences. And thirdly, investigate and implement measures to prevent any long-term recurrences. We've included a number of useful links below, and for further MMI tips, techniques, and practice questions, attend a Blackstone Tutors MMI course, or subscribe to the online question bank.